Good Thursday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast here for this May 12th. We've had some heavy rain and thunderstorms in the Bowling Green area this morning. Now things are fairly quiet, except to the west. I'm looking at radar. Still some pretty hefty thunderstorms, and I think the bigger story today, more than severe weather, will be heavy rainfall. Potential for flooding, in fact... We are now under a flash flood watch until 10 o'clock this evening for much of the uh, WBKO viewing area. As uh, we had some intense rains yesterday, not so much in Bowling Green, but uh, to the south of us, southern Logan County, southern Simpson County, uh, there were places that were flooded, flooded yards and creeks and streams, and then extreme flooding around uh, Sumner and Macon counties just across the border. Many of you know where Hartsville, Tennessee is. It's not that far away. Portland, I mean, that's just south of Franklin. Uh, There, they received over seven inches of rain, and they had to do some water rescues yesterday because of the intense rainfall. Uh, The potential exists again today uh, for that heavy rain to be around the area. Now, we had some strong thunderstorms this morning, nothing severe. When I came in, it was just like yesterday. I left the uh, left the uh, home and then got, you know, I'm no more than four miles from work. And when I left, it was, you know, warm, humid. I could hear a rumble of thunder. And, but before I got to the TV station, I mean, it cut loose. Uh, very heavy rainfall, big raindrops, uh, big lightning as well. And now it's kind of over, at least for the time being. But there's more out there. There's more rainfall coming. We had a little bit of a gust front move through this morning with some 30-mile-per-hour winds. And uh, that cold rush of air out from those uh, uh, collapsing thunderstorms, uh, that cool rush of air tends to stabilize the atmosphere just a little bit. And it, it has shut off the rain for now. Uh, but they're going to return, and we could we could still see a few severe storms this afternoon, although the risk is fairly isolated. I think the bigger threat today will be the potential for flooding around the area. 83 was our official high yesterday at the airport. That happened at 130. 76, the average high, so we were 7 degrees above average. 65 was our low, 54 the average low, so we were 11 degrees above average. One year ago, we had a high of 86 and a low of 66 back in 2015. And at the airport yesterday, (laughs) despite all of that heavy rainfall to the west and southwest, we only picked up one one one-hundredth of an inch of rain, but I'm sure we picked up more than that already uh, just this morning. Uh, The potential for more showers and thunderstorms today, plus that flash flood watch through 10 o'clock this evening, 70% chance of rain and thunderstorms, 82, with a southwest wind at 12 today. Then tonight, a continued 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms, but ending late at a low of 56. That's when the cold front comes through and finally shuts off the rain, the thunderstorms, severe weather threat. Friday looks good, mostly sunny cooler with a high of 76. And then a secondary cold front moves through on Saturday. This one just brings us a few clouds, although there could be some light rain showers off to the north of us. But what it will do is reinforce a much cooler air mass as we get into the weekend. So partly sunny, much cooler on Saturday with a high of only 66 We'll get down into the 40s for overnight lows Saturday night into Sunday morning. Sunday looks good, partly sunny, 67. And then a warm front comes through and Gulf moisture returns by the beginning of next week. And here we go again. This could be a repeat of what we're going through right now, starting Monday and going to Tuesday, Wednesday. Showers and thunderstorms each day. Looks like good chances of it, too. And, yes, with that will come the potential for more severe weather, maybe flooding. Uh, 72 on Monday, 78 both Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. All right, that's a look at your forecast again today. Be careful. There's probably a lot of standing water 
around the area, especially in those uh, back roads and areas where there are low water fords, uh, where you're prone to have those little small creeks and streams come out of their banks uh, with high water. Uh, and as we get more rain today, that could become a bigger problem. Uh, so therefore, the flash flood watch in effect through 10 o'clock this evening. In the meantime, have a great day. Thanks for listening, and God bless. Know the weather before it knows you. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky, 11 a.m. on midday. And, of course, streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com. And then later today, join me for my radio show, Classic Hits, Sam 100.7, between 3 and 7 p.m.